Oh, I am so excited to show you our slides and home movies from our vacation in San Diego. Oh, what a beautiful city. Harvey, stop clowning around. Okay, is everybody settled? Harvey, hit the button on the cassette player. I want to add some mood music. No, no, not that button. The one pointing frontwards. No, no, to the right. Ah, sorry about that, Schnookums. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we go. There were so many things to do and see in San Diego. We just had a blast. Here we are at the zoo. And they call this Balboa Park. And this is Seaport Village. They have lots of shops here. Loved it. Oh, the weather was just gorgeous. And the beaches were to die for. But, you know, Harvey burns so easy. I think he was using Sunblack 1000. <laughs> Here's Harvey, about to take surfing lessons. Well, that didn't turn out so good, so we thought we'd stick to the bay. Then we came to an area where this pipe drained into the bay. We couldn't believe it, could we, Harvey? All this trash and mucky water, oh, it really was a shame. Come to find out, it was a storm drain. Look at it. Oh, well, right then and there, we decided the we just had to do something. So you know what we did? <laughs> You'll never guess what we did. Storm drain stenciling. An organization called I Love a Clean San Diego, along with the city of San Diego's Think Blue program, has this service where you can check out a storm drain stenciling kit and you, you go out and paint a message on the sidewalk above a storm drain telling people not to pollute down there. Storm drains are everywhere, so you can stencil them anywhere. Neighborhoods, uh, parks, business parks, shopping centers, and more. So Harvey and I called them and reserved our kit. The next day, we went to their office, picked up the kit and paperwork, and we were off. I think Harvey started shooting film when we began. Harvey, do you have the projector ready, honey? Oh, hey, Buttercup, we're all set there. Okay, now here's the first storm drain that we stenciled. I was shocked to learn that the stormwater system is not connected to the sewer system. So everything that goes into the storm drain washes straight into the rivers and creeks and eventually down to the ocean. Now, we found a neighborhood that needed stenciling. Now, here's the shot of the kit. See, it comes with a bucket, a can of white, a can of blue paint, Mixing sticks, a big and a small paintbrush, a rag, gloves, two plastic bags, a little chalk, a wire brush, a Think Blue stencil. See their logo with the wave? Cute, huh? And then uh, this has a tracking sheet to let them know where we painted, but Harvey took care of that. When we started, they told us that it was a two-step process. First, the white rectangle, then the blue letters, and that we should find an area that had a few storm drains so we could, you know, go in a circle and paint all the white rectangles and then go around again and paint the blue letters so we wouldn't have to sit around and watch paint dry. <laughs> Harvey thought that was funny, you know, we could tell everyone we spent our vacation watching paint dry in San Diego. <laughs> okay. So, you want to paint on the top of the curb above the storm drain. And it's okay if it's a red curb or a blue curb. We saw a few of those. We also saw a couple of old faded stencils and, you know, we painted right over to make them look fresh and new again. Now, how did that get in there, Harvey? Sorry there. So, here I am wiping down the curb with the wire brush, trying to make it as clean as possible. So, you know, the paint will stick. <laughs> now, look, see how I'm doing this? I put down the stencil and trace the rectangular outline with the chalk. That's where I'm going to paint the white. And here I am, stirring the white paint. Stirring, stirring. <laughs> now, here's the tricky part. As you know, maybe you don't, I'm a perfectionist. So, with a big brush, I had to paint inside the lines. Not too much paint so it wouldn't run outside the lines, 
but enough to make it, you know, look straight and neat. Oh, look at Harvey's fancy camera work. <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Spielberg. <laughs> ah! Oh, did you see that? Harvey almost got hit by a truck. Good thing there's no sound on the film because Harvey gave him a piece of his mind. From then on, you know, we stayed out of the street. It's just too dangerous. And when I was done with the white paint, see how I clean off the edges? And I put the lid on tight. Now, I bet you were wondering what the plastic bags were for, huh? Well, so was I. Watch this. You put the paintbrush inside it while you move from storm drain to storm drain so the brush doesn't dry out and get stiff. We went around and painted all the white backgrounds on the block and then looped back where we began. Oh, look at me. Oh, God, it was a hot day. They told us it was very important to wait until the white paint had dried and was real clean before putting on the blue or it would make a big mess, as you can imagine. Fortunately, our white rectangles were all dry and ready for the blue letters. Oh, my silly Harvey. Silly. Here I am holding down the stencil. <laughs> now, I almost put it on backward because I'm on the sidewalk side of the curb, but I remembered at the last moment that the words should face toward the traffic. Okay, watch me. Watch me here dab the blue paint inside the stencil with a small brush. Now, the key is to use as little paint as possible and you use like a, a dabbing technique. You don't want to get the blue paint under the stencil or you'll have to paint the whole thing white and start over. Fortunately, I was careful. Look, and as I lift the stencil up, voila, a masterpiece. Here, Harvey's filling out the tracking sheet. You know, putting down the address and intersections of our new stencils. When we were done, we put the leads on tight. See? Now, ideally, you want to clean off your brushes and your stencils in a sink, but we couldn't find one. Then, we met this nice woman. She let us clean up on her lawn. Oh, so nice. She was from Milwaukee, don't you know? Good people. Now, it's okay to wash the brushes over landscaping, but you have to make sure nothing goes into the storm drain or that would kind of defeat the purpose, huh? <laughs> Who is snoring? Oh, I'm sorry, Tim. Are we boring you? Well, we're almost finished. Oh, Harvey, why'd you leave that in there? That's where I lost control of the holes. I got them all wet. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> we made sure all the supplies made it back into the kit, and we returned it to I Love a Clean San Diego. You know, I have to tell you how good our stenciling adventure felt. You know, we really made a difference. And thanks to Harvey and me, now when you go there to visit, you can fall in love with a clean San Diego too. The end. <laughs>